towards the end of turn six, beginning of turn seven, we're going to have clear weather and uh, what's that? Yeah, ground freeze. And up in the north, once again, not too much happening, except in this section here, uh, the Russians have had to scramble again and uh, cover as we had a huge breakthrough here with uh, two um, breakthrough results that had a three advance, which allowed us to advance four hexes. You add one when it's a breakthrough. And this guy is going to be isolated uh, beginning of this turn. That's quite a chip for him. And got this guy here isolated as well. I attacked him and he just knocked the snot out of me. Uh, we've got a long uh, weaving line of units that have been drawn in from all over the place. All army and organizational capabilities have been abandoned for plugging holes in the line. Uh, try and attack down here on the 57th. That's my handmade counter. It's kind of crappy, but there you go. And the 33rd uh, took some losses and retreated. We've elected just to leave these guys alone for the time being, but we'll see what happens this turn. Trying to slow these guys down over here. Uh, we lost. We got, uh, once again, uh, that town's going to fall, so we had to attack there and were defeated. We took a three step loss, so that was pretty ugly. We had to attack out of the city. Uh, this guy's isolated as well. In fact, both of those guys are isolated. And here at Tula, uh, the 49th attacked and really didn't do us any favors. Uh, they had to attack uh, just to try to support Tula, but took a two step loss and a retreat. Not the best. Uh, but there's, there's re more reinforcements coming all over the board on the southern, southern end of the map. It's wide open, anything can happen. Uh, uh, it's going to be really hard to keep stuff in supply and keep uh, units, uh, you know, unit cohesion or organizational cohesion. It's uh, proven to be quite a challenge. Really interesting game so far, and I'm enjoying it. Uh, it's pretty cool.